It's time to get started with your introduction to your root form. By now you've started thinking about a perspective that you could take and making your writing a little bit interesting because we don't want those fall asleep writing styles. We want to make sure our writing is alive and, and the others can, can really feel it. So introduction, what should it do? It should give the reader an insight to what your topic is, explain the purpose for writing it, state the main ideas that will follow, and get your reader interested. So by after reading the introduction, the reader should really understand what you're going to be doing in the rest of the paper and do so in an interesting way. There's different styles that you can use and different types of leads or introductions that you can, you can try. So leads in the form of a question, leads in the form of dialogue, leads in the form that you show and you don't not tell, you raise questions, you set the tone, you inform or you surprise. Now all of those can be tried and practiced, and, but without seeing a couple of examples, it might be difficult. So below, down, down here below, there's a, three examples. One from a grade three student, grade five, and grade six. And I want you to open up your report notes document, make another section after your perspective section for nonfiction introductions. And what you're gonna do is after these are read aloud, you're going to th write down first paragraph, I think it was this strategy that they used. And do the same for second and third paragraph. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be ready to try a couple of these strategies in class when it comes time to write your own introduction. So the strategies above, these right here, you're going to be trying these in class. And we'll talk about some more examples as it comes along. So here are the examples that I have for you now. It's raining, it's pouring, and the whole world is excited. A new baby chimp was born at the London Zoo. Its eyes glow like a mid the midnight moon, and its nose is like two little eyes of winking and blinking. Okay, so write, write down what you think that paragraph, what that introduction did, what style, what example of lead they did. Next one, why did John Hancock sign the Declaration of Independence so big and bold? Because one, that is the way he writes, or two, to intimidate the British. The answer is number two, to intimidate the British. John Hancock was captured in the first battle of the Revolutionary War. He escaped and King George said, if you capture him, you can shoot him. That is why he signed so big. Okay, tell me what kind of style you think that one was. And the third, autumn in Colorado. The golden aspens shimmer across the hillside like a giant fire in the sky. The green spruce trees look almost black next to the changing aspens. Many flowers are gone, but still an occasional burst of purple, red, and yellow petals here and there. The birds, are still, the birds still sing, but in trios now instead of choruses. The weather is in practice for the long, frosty winter ahead. Now write that one down. All three are different examples from the list above. Be ready to talk about that and be thinking about what you can use for your introductions.